What's up, all you hooligans? How are you doing today? We have in the news a couple cool, cool stories. And also our main one's going to be dealing with, yes, the police officers are, you know what, telling the public motorcycle clubs ain't good yes we got that one but the first story is really gonna blow your mind i really love this one it's cool don't forget to subscribe to the other channel also don't forget to subscribe to this channel click the links i have one link goes to all our platforms now let's get her going I don't agree much with the school system nowadays. Nope, don't, don't, don't. You know, there was a story that came out of, uh, I believe it was Washington State or Oregon, where they canceled a September 11th patriotic type of memorial, saying it might have offended someone. So, yeah, I don't agree with teachers. I don't agree with principals a lot. But this is the one thing I actually do agree with. We're always talking about getting kids into motorcycles. Which, you got to start them young if you ask me. But this story out of Oak Ridger really caught my eye. A board OK's new ORS or ORHS Motorcycle Club. Yes, they have approved a motorcycle club for students. And it's starting at Oak Ridge High School. Uh, they approved the Roll Wildcats Roll Club at its last meeting. Science teacher Elizabeth Hondorf is sponsoring the new club and it will have elected officers. The club is open to any student. The club application stated to attend the monthly meetings. Bring your own bike or just yourself. Members will meet monthly except December through February. Speakers at meetings will speak on subjects like safety, maintenance, and trip planning. Members must have a valid motorcycle license to ride, but unlicensed students may be members. Quote, when I first heard about this, it gave me the willies a bit. Of course it would for, you know, somebody like you, Angie Aggle. However, she uh, felt encouraged by the group's focus on safety and maintenance. Hopefully this will help students keep uh, safer, which it would do if, you know, you're talking about motorcycle safety, having a lot of... Uh, you know, instructors from the motorcycle safety courses come in to teach these kids. But I really thought this was a cool deal, man. Get them early, get them into uh, motorcycling, and it's something that they'll love the rest of their lives. Uh, another cool one, man, this just shows you what bikers are really all about. Over 200 bikers showed up to escort a bully teen to prom, and it's the most beautiful thing is the headline. Uh, this is a story, one of those days when you feel like you've lost all faith in humanity, or that everyone that can go wrong does go wrong. Over 200 bikers answered a call from a desperate mother and showed up to escort a bully team to prom. You imagine that being bullied and next thing you know, 200 bikers show up? It's awesome. Uh, the WAC Motorcycle Club from uh, what, uh, Worcester, UK, led the effort for the Unique Motorcade, which included over 200 bikers and took the long route instead of the five-mile direct one so that the teen in question could enjoy it to the max. According to the Worcester News, uh, Felicity is only 15 and she has dyslexia and Asperger's syndrome, which is on the lower end of the autism spectrum and makes it difficult for her to have social interactions and make friends. She loves sports, judo in particular, and motorcycles. 
Her mother Katie posted a message to the WACMC Facebook asking if a few of its members could show up to escort her to prom. Yeah, her mother don't have to worry about her kid there, man. Them bikers will watch her. The teen had been bullied for years, both for her health problems and uh, her biker-inspired sense of fashion. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. Hell yeah, Katie. Uh, they assumed it was going to be a, a bunch of, you know, a couple riders here and there. But 200, that's what I'm talking about. That right there says everything about the biker community uh now the descendants this is over in australia i believe uh yeah it has to be it's bikey sentenced to over car yard brawl started over members dispute over sale eight members of the descendants outlaw motorcycle gang had been sentenced over a violent brawl at a car yard in adelaide's north last year uh Last year, on June 2nd, uh, the gang became involved in a scuffle. Uh, the magistrate's court previously heard the group armed with hammers and knives and poles assaulted a man over a financial dispute involving a recent car sale. It was probably a lemon. Uh, the court heard Christopher Flat had recently sold a car to the victim, Platt, who attended the car yard to retrieve the car and some money, Magistrate Simon said. It gives all that, and it also uh, has, uh, let's see here, CCTV, and it says uh, bikies not allowed to associate. It's illegal uh, for bikies from 10 declared groups, including the descendants, to go out in public in groups of three or more. Aren't you glad we have a constitution here in the United States, even though that's uh, been under attack uh, quite a bit? It really has, man. We'll be right back with our main story and the wall of shame. They run in while you run out. Support the National Fallen Firefighters Fund by donating right here on YouTube. Click the donate button now. The mission of the National Fallen Firefighters Fund is to honor and remember Americans' fallen fire heroes to provide resources and assist their families in rebuilding their lives and work within the fire service community to reduce firefighter deaths and... All right, man, we're going to go to our main story today, and that's in Canada. Yes, it seems like uh, the police are talking about biker gang activity Sad state of affair. You gotta listen to this one. Visible signs of motorcycle gangs like this in 2001 and again in 2017 haven't been seen in the region for a few years now. But Detective Staff Sergeant Scott Wade with the Ontario Provincial Police says they've always been around. There was a time when Kingston maybe didn't have as strong a presence of uh, outlaw motorcycle gangs as they do now. Uh, however, we have noticed that it, there's been a gradual increase in the number of, uh, of our motorcycle gang members. Wade says most of that growth has been in support clubs associated with the three largest biker clubs in Ontario, the Outlaws, Hells Angels, and Bacchus MC. There's dozens of them, and I wouldn't go through naming them all, but obviously the Red Devils Motorcycle Club is a very strong support club to the Hells Angels, and the Black Pistons is a very strong support club to the Outlaws. Motorcycle gangs are involved in just about every form of crime imaginable, according to Wade. The highest level white collar uh, frauds, drug importation and trafficking, obviously, uh, human trafficking, anything that can make a dollar. As was evidenced near the end of April this year when provincial police and Kingston police executed search warrants at an Outlaws MC clubhouse in Wilton and two homes in Kingston, seizing fentanyl, cocaine, weapons, and cash. At the time, Outlaws MC wrote in an email they were in shock and said no members were arrested and the weapons, drugs, and cash seized by police did not come from the clubhouse. The joint police operation was called Project Stokes. And as a result of that, we believe that the clubhouse is closed in Wilton. Um, I don't think they're active in that area anymore. We can't say that the outlaws are gone. They're definitely not. Wade says a chapter of the outlaws remains active in Kingston and encourages anyone that witnesses anything that concerns them to contact police or crime stoppers. Darren Davis, Globe. Wow. Yeah. So you make a bust and nobody's charged. I bet all that money and all that stuff they had probably went into uh, 
some senior leaders' pockets, if you know what I mean. But let's go to the Wall of Shame. And as of usual, it's another sex crime. Former cop admits to secretly filming naked women with spy cameras. What a freak! What a freak, man. Uh, former police officer, and this is in the United Kingdom, so you guys got freaks over there, just like we got over here in the States, pled guilty to voyeurism charges, admitting that he used secret cameras to film nude models without their consent. The indecent uh, highlights the relative frequency of these types of sexual crimes. Late last month, for example, a church parishioner in California was arrested after hidden cameras were discovered in the woman's restroom. You nasty people. In March, meanwhile, a woman found a hidden camera installed in her alarm clock, along with a SIM card containing 140 photos or videos. And in August, a music teacher was sentenced to 50 years in prison after uh, hiding cameras in the bathroom of the, his children's music school. You know, you sick bastard, man. Uh, the recent case, uh, former Detective Inspector Neil Corbell, 40, was charged in mid-August. The former counterterrorism officer pretended to be a pilot who, on the side, worked as a photographer. Uh, he would then orchestrate nude photo shoots in hotel rooms and apartments that had been outfitted with hidden cameras. You know, it's easy, guys. Go pay a hooker or something. You can't get any, man. But damn, the stuff that you people do. Let me tell you. Yuck. Nasty perverts, you. Anyway, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like the channel, and all that good stuff. Download uh, at that one link. Anywhere you want to download our stuff is right there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. I am Audi. Take care. Check you later. Rock on.